Hello, welcome back to my channel. Again, I appreciate you for spending a few minutes out of your day with me. My name is Nicole and I am maybe seven months into my, since I started the 30 day hair detox. It's been a month since I had my first appointment with a Cut It Kinky specialist, Miss Tyranny at Onyx Glam. And today, I recently, I came back from visiting my sister and she also has her curl specialist and she had gotten this conditioner by Bacura Beauty, the Yam Nectar, and it's uh, a deep conditioner made with Manuka honey. You can look up the benefits of Manuka honey, but that's the main ingredient. So she had, there was a sale, so she got some extra. It smells honey-ish. And uh, she gave me some to try. So I'm going to try it with my wash hour today. So what I'm going to plan to do with my wash today is to cleanse, right? Shampoo, condition, and then style this one. And let me grab my other mainstay style product this one and then I will finish it up with this which is not a styler it's an anti-humidity anti-frizz product so that's what's going to be um, what I'm going to be using today again uh, disclaimer right my purpose in doing these videos is to show you how this process this cleanse conditioning and styling this no raw oils butters or creams um technique um i can't think of the word for it but how that uh consistently is working for my hair and how my hair progresses grows gets more hydration gets more definition as i continue to apply <clears throat> the tips and techniques that I got from um, Black Girl Curls. I am Black Girl Curls, uh, Aisha and Elise, the founders. And to show you, I'm not a, a cosmetologist. I love doing hair, but at my house, like I'm not a professional by any means. So to apply their professional knowledge and to show you how it works on my hair. So hopefully it'll give you an idea of um, seeing how it works in real life so that's that so now i'm going to go uh cleanse and condition and apply the uncle funkies i do that in the shower and then i will come back here and show you how i apply oops, uh that i create holding it and the uh papaya slip also the thing about this i'm going to when i which one is it when i do this condition my hair I'm gonna take some of this and mix it in that's what you call cocktail and we blend into together and so they can both be on my hair at the same time and then detangle it and then let it sit for a few minutes and then rinse it out it's how I will use it so I will see you when I get back okay I'm back as I mentioned before I did do a AG Naturals for my shampoo and conditioner. And then when I did the conditioner, I cocktailed the uh, Yam Manuka Honey in there. So now, and I have the Uncle Funky's daughter on my hair. You see how it's dripping like this? You can ju just like get used to doing that to try to, while you're in the, what am I trying to say? When you're in the shower and you know, they say like add more water to your hair but not so much that you're rinsing the product out of your hair. When you stick your head under the shower head and run the water, do it like that to help distribute the water and the product and such throughout your hair. But now I'm going to apply my I Create Hold. And I did notice with this, <coughs> this wash hour, shampooing my hair it took way less product so to me that means 
I'm improving in my technique, which is good because that means my products will last longer. So instead of adding more shampoo, adding more water properly, saturating my hair with water before I add the shampoo, all those things are contributing to that. You do it like this, it helps. Are any of y'all like me where even after you work out, even if it's been 30 minutes or an hour ago and you still might be sweating a little bit from that workout, why? I don't like it. Kind of help distribute it more throughout my hair. I need a little more product. So I'm gonna add a little more here. And don't freak out if you run into snags while going through your hair, just gently pull them apart. In the, the previous video here, I detailed how I rake through and smooth my hair. I haven't changed anything about that routine. I'm about to add the papaya slip as I'm talking to you. About that routine since the last video. So I will just come back and show you the finished results.
this clip out that was holding my hair back. But as you can see, I have set my hair. Style my hair. I'm a visual learner, so I'm hoping too that y'all just uh, seeing my process for how I apply the product and rake through and smooth my hair would be better than me explaining it. But here, here's what we have before. I go under the dryer, making sure no curl looks too wonky or out of place. This is, see? And then I'm gonna do it like this, like this, like this, like this. And now I'm going to sit under the dryer for an hour to an hour and a half until I'm I'm satisfied with uh, how dry it is and then I will go about the rest of my day. So I will see you once I come out from under the dryer and then of course I will give you my progress report during the week. So I've sat under the dryer for an hour till my hair is mostly dry and I will just let it live for the rest of the day. Oops, sorry, I'm holding the the camera instead of having it propped up somewhere but I'm gonna just let it live for the rest of the day and air dry the rest of the way because you see the outside is set but under here underneath here high density it's not a hundred percent dry so that's how we're gonna go with it and then at the end of the day before I go to bed if it's still wet then I will hit it with the dryer or with the diffuser to finish drying it before I put my buff on to go to sleep. Have a great day. Hey welcome to day two hair. This is her. So today uh, Abigail has been outside but she has not been exercised. So I didn't exercise today by design. That was on purpose. Today is a rest day, but I will exercise tomorrow. And this is what we have with day two hair. More information about the deep conditioner that I used along with my regular conditioner, the Bacura Beauty Yam um, Manuka Honey. Uh, it's called Yam Nectar, but the main ingredient in it is the Manuka honey for the hydrating hair nourisher. So the purpose of it is to help with hydration. Not necessarily shine, but with hydration with your hair. So if you go to the BecureBeauty.com website, then you can read more about the what the company says the product is supposed to do and what's involved in the product. Um, I like how my hair is uh, looking with it. Is it more hydrated? Maybe, but I do plan to continue to use it. One, because it was a gift, and two, I like that it's um, natural. It's a waterless, uh, concentrated hair treatment, or it's kind of like a hair mask that can be used, um, and it gives directions on how to use it if you want deep conditioning and what's the full ingredients list and everything. So just be a, a conscientious consumer. Don't buy it just because I used it, but if it is something that you want to try, then at um, Bakura, B-E-K-U-R-A beauty.com is where you can get that product. But this is my hair. I'm very still very excited that I am improving in my technique and learning that technique isn't just this as far as applying the stylers to my hair, but it's the entire process from um, cleansing to conditioning to detangling to styling and doing your hair depending on how you want to look that week, how you want your style to be, re, um, restyling it however often 
you would like to as long as it's within that seven to ten day mark to continue to hydrate your hair by putting water on it and in it and making your hair in the best condition to absorb water the way that it naturally should so I'm on this um, hair journey. My sister's on this hair journey. Journey. My mom's on this hair journey. Now my niece is on this hair journey. I I did her hair today again. Today was her wash hour. And what's helpful? She's eight. And what's helped helps us, right? With her hair, as you can see, I'll show a video of how her hair turned out. But as you can see, that's her hair. After I've cleansed, conditioned it, I did apply Quiet Calm as well as the Dew Foam before I blew it out with a blow dryer that I have a, a comb attachment on. And you see her hair is very dense. And she wanted puffs, so Auntie gave her puffs. Her hair has grown quite a bit, but you see all that hair. So what's helpful to me, to us, with washing her hair, doing that, leaning her over the sink it's not it's not good for us what helps is we put our bathing suits on and we get into the shower and she's old enough now that she knows how i can stand like behind the shower and she can stand in front of it where the water pours in and that is where i can um do her hair and go through the process with her hair and that's what's working really well for us with cleansing condition and styling her hair every week and we're loving the results with her little baby hair even though it's very dense and um coarse it's not hard her hair or um wool like so i would love a professional to give me the proper diagnosis and terminology for her hair but all of us have different uh, characteristics for our hair and by i say all of us not just people in general but me i have three sisters my mom my dad my niece nobody's hair has the same characteristics. So that's even more encouraging that these following the simple cleanse conditioning and styling is getting results for everybody's hair characteristics. So that's what I have for day two and I will see you on day three. And please don't forget to comment below with what you liked about the video and what you appreciated about the video and also hit that subscribe button to encourage more content. And I really appreciate um, all of your even the effort it takes to push the button I really appreciate it because you don't have to but you do and I like it so have a great day I'll see you on day three hey welcome to day three hair I haven't worked out yet today I plan to work out later but this is my hair so far with this uh styling cycle I guess it's going pretty well can y'all see that my hair is, is growing and that it seems it's filling in more so I'm excited about that I don't I'm not scheduled for the 10 to 12 weeks my next appointment should be in mid to late August and for me right now, it's July. You know, we've, I film these videos uh, not like as it's happening. There's a delay. So uh, right now I have about another month and a half before I'm supposed to get my next appointment. And I will try that time when I did my previous video about my first appointment with my specialist tyranny. By the time it got time to filming her actually cutting my hair, my phone was charging on the charger, so I didn't get the cut, but I'm hoping that when I do go for my maintenance appointment, that since I did focus more on the, <coughs> excuse me, hydration part and all the work she did in the shampoo bowl, then maybe in that next appointment that I can, with her permission, uh, record her giving me my maintenance cut and we can see how that goes and she's very um she communicates well but when you go in with your specialist i'm sure that the information you get might depend on the questions that you ask so ask your questions 
and I will ask her or observe her and what she decides to cut and why. So that's that for day three and I will see you on day four. Hello, welcome to day four hair. This is hair after working out with the buff on, but I took the buff off to wash it with my workout clothes before I hopped in the shower. So it did get a little misting from the shower, but this, this is day four hair. Like as I mentioned before, cause it's damp, I didn't pull on it too much to fluff it. But I you know, just very gently like this as opposed to really pulling at it, but I'm still pleased with my results, my definition. I can see now uh, my hair starting to grow in from my cut, which is exciting because part of uh, the journey, right, is getting my maintenance cuts regularly to retain length. So to minimize split ends. So when I do go in for my maintenance cut, she wouldn't cut off as much as my hair has grown, right? She would just be cutting off a little bit because uh, the average person's hair grows, what, like half an inch per month. So my hair could grow half an inch to, what, an inch to an inch and a half by my next appointment. So if she cuts off a quarter of an inch, I still have like an inch or more of growth. So I'm not worried about the cut, but I am excited. It's probably lit for my buff, y'all. Yeah, I am excited to get to see how much length I retain in a year, is what I'm trying to say. So day four here, day four here, it's under there, see? And I will see you on day five. Hello everyone, this is day five hair. Give you the look around. I did exercise as I mentioned yesterday, but I haven't exercised yet today. And I'm seriously considering refreshing my hair today because uh, I think I mentioned previously that because I'm working out more, that I might try to, uh, you know, more sweat, more s stuff going on with my hair that I might shift to cleansing conditioning and styling every uh five days instead of every eight days but as you know as i as has happened before i could get distracted today and get busy in a project and end up resetting my hair tomorrow so we'll see how it goes this could be the last day but it still looks good enough for me to probably even with exercising uh, make it a couple of more days so we'll see how I feel and uh, if I don't see you on day six this is the end and don't forget to subscribe and like and comment with what you liked about the video and also to encourage more content and thank you so much for spending this time with me have a great day